What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to Fun with Physics in Game Maker Studio 2. So today we're just going to go over the basics of how to set up physics in Game Maker Studio 2, obviously. <laughs> so we'll go into our first room, and it's just a normal room. Uh, we can zoom out a bit. We're going to go and enable physics. This is actually on the left side of our room, towards the bottom, room physics. And we'll set gravity Y to 100 and enable it. All right, so now when we place objects in the room, they should fall. So in our objects, we'll create an object. We'll call this OBJ square. And we'll create a sprite for it. And we'll edit the image. We'll just make it a blue square. We'll name this SPR square. Okay. We're also going to set our origin to the middle center. And then we'll go to set that sprite. And this is kind of weird. If you go to physics and then go to modify collision shape, um, sometimes this doesn't line up quite right. So you might have to line this up. It looks like it's okay here, but sometimes you do have to change that. All right, so now we have a square, but we also need a floor. So let's go ahead and make a floor. We'll add a new object. We'll call this OBJ floor. We'll add a new sprite. we we'll call this SPR floor. We'll choose middle center. We'll edit the image and make it a different color. Let's say brown. And then our floor sprite, we'll choose brown. All right. Now let's place these into the room. So we'll add a floor. And we'll add a couple squares. If we hit play, surprise, surprise, nothing happens. Let's go into both of these actors and check uses physics. Right? Uses physics. So we'll hit play. And now everything falls, which is not what we want. So what we can do is in our floor, we want our physics to say uh, density equals zero, which is infinite density. Let's just see how that changes things a bit. Now our floor stays right there no matter what happens because it's super, super infinitely dense. All right, so that's good. But now we need our object to collide. And we need our square to collide with the floor. So uh, let's go ahead and add a collision event with her floor. Seems easy enough. Let's hit play. And nothing happens. So why isn't anything happening? Let's go ahead and add a code snippet here. Yep. That's all it was. All right, so for some reason, there just has to be some code um, in our event. So what I do to get by this is just comment out something and just call this collide. And that's it. So every time you need to make a collision, just drag in and execute code, comment out collide, and you're good. We also want to make it collide with itself like other squares. So we'll say other object and we'll drag this in. Collide. Hit play. And we see that we have some real physics working. Alright, so now we have a room with physics and objects that collide with one another as well as a floor. In the next episode we're going to add um, different shaped objects 
and use custom collision shapes as well as um, add some fun elements to the game to make it a little bit more exciting and um, colorful and fun to play with because it's a tech demo and it's supposed to be like a toy, right? Alright, so let me know in the comments if you like this video and um, if you have any ideas as to what to add next, please of course let me know as well um, and I'll try to get to it. Alright, thank you so much and have a great day. Peace.